Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in my Object 704, and yes, I cut out the first part of this uh, because it was one of those games where I was going to work, or I, was, I had to go to work soon, and I was like, you know what? This is my map, and I love this tank, so good things are going to happen. Just had that feeling, so I turned it on pretty much right after the game started. And I'll we'll see if it uh, actually lives up to the bidding. All right, Thiefel Ridge, 1944. The two ridges or hills in like F3 and G3 are definitely the two hills that I use from either side. Um, and it really, how my team lays out and how the enemy team lays out is what dictates dictates where I want to go. I was to come over here, there's a Tiger 1 sitting there. We get a nice shot right in the side. Why do I love the Object 704? Honestly, it reminds me of a Tier 6 Su-100, and I fell in love with the Su-100. Um, I have over a thousand games in it, because as more of my friends, and my dad, brother, join World of Tanks, um, anytime they were playing a tier 6, I would pick my Su Hundo. Um, and then, obviously, going down that line, this is the tier 9. And the Bat Chat's behind me, and I'm really frustrated that my team isn't taking care of him, but I know he can't clip me out, so I just want to try to keep him pinned down. He misses his last shot, making it real awkward, and finally my AT7 comes over and takes care of him. Now, the AT7 is a slow tank, so I don't know, maybe he just wasn't in position, but. Um, we got through that whole debacle, and I really do like the road that they came down, um, but you definitely can't do it that early because there's nobody that's able to cover you if you're on the northern spawn. Alright, so as we come over, got an E50 here, we just slap one right into the side of his head, and many crews have gone through this tank. Especially since there are so many Russian tanks. Um, pretty much as I buy my 10s, I shuffle my crews up. So this, my STI and my 704 are two tier 9 Russian tanks that I kept. Um, and as I play them every once in a while, the crews slowly get developed and then eventually get plopped onto a tier 10. All right, so looking for a shot here. He is behind that dead tank, but we sneak it right over, get him. You can see it's six nothing. We're already up to 4,000 damage, four minutes in, so we're averaging 1,000 damage a minute, which is pretty awesome. And this thing is just a thunder stick. And then to really put the cherry on top, the armor of this thing is is good. I really like the, it's got like space armor in its cheeks and for whatever reason it just seems to bounce a lot. Sneak that shell right into that guy's cupola. Brings us up to 5,000. And they finally killed one of our tanks so it's 8 to 1. And it's type 4 heavy and we're going to be able to get a shot into him. Absolutely. Let's shut him down. 5,300 2 kills. And now majority of their team's up north. But that's okay because Object 704, it can move pretty well. Like, it's not the fastest tank, but it definitely isn't a slouch either. So you have capable armor, you have a big gun, you have decent mobility, and that really makes for a good tank destroyer in my opinion. Um, now there's definitely like trade-offs but the other thing is on top of all those all those three things you have concealment to vision your vision to camo ratio is good in this thing not when you're driving however you can see my cone doesn't quite reach my circle um, but once again that goes back to I don't have the best crew in here um, whereas when I did have good crew with all the concealment stuff this thing just disappears and you can see their equipment that I run so I do run premium consumables and I do that pretty much on all my tank destroyers 
um, and then camo net and binos, and that's really if I'm hiding, then I'm going to be able to extend my view range and help my camo out with those two pieces of equipment. Uh, the reason I use premium consumables in all my front facing tank destroyers is because that's my general fire extinguisher slot. However, I feel like if there's tanks behind me that are shooting into my engine deck to light a fire, then chances are I'm not in a good position and I'm going to die anyways. So um, I'd rather pump up my crew and my tank a little bit um, with the premium consumables. Snap that shot off at the end. Very nice game in the 704. God, I love this tank. Such a good tank. All right, we got an ace tanker, high caliber. We're we're getting close to our three marks of excellence. We got a sniper medal, which that might not come too often in the 704. It is not that accurate. Um, a lot of times you do have to fully aim your shots, and still you're gonna miss them. But um, I don't think it's tragic. Um, I actually don't mind the accuracy on this thing. Confederate medal with three kills. Overall, it's a really fun game. We meet 8600, and that's with premium consumables. We take top dog and though i have it set up to snipe i definitely don't feel like i have to snipe in my 704 like i said i can make the armor work in this thing uh, if you angle the front it's got a sloped front plate and then it's got those side cheeks that are spaced armor so you'll bounce shells uh, also you'll absorb heat shells into your tracks and it's just it's got some trolley armor which is fantastic to use so um, if you haven't played this tank, I highly recommend it. Um, although I hear a lot of people that don't like it just because the accuracy trolls them a lot. All right, I'll quit babbling. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.